What is the result of hanging a whole tomato plant from the rafters of our house? Check it out, you guys. I was pretty skeptical when I first heard the advice. I think it was a couple of years ago. We never actually tried it until this year. We had tried picking our green tomatoes the first time we tried it, and um, most of them went rotten before they turned ripe. And we have not had that problem here. They look amazing. Um, if you check back in our other video on the day that we put them in the house, you'll notice that they, most of the tomatoes were green. Now check it out. We've got these ones. Tons of them are turning red here. These ones are turning yellow, depending on the variety. We actually went ahead and did our peppers the same way. These are our jalapenos. And uh, we will let you know how that works out. But we are so happy with how this has turned out. The tomatoes are ripening perfectly, almost as if they were outside, a little slower, but they're great. Isn't that awesome? They taste just as fresh as when we got them straight from the garden outside. Only difference is temperature. Yeah, it's nice having a nice sun-warmed tomato, isn't it? Same with strawberries. <laughs> but yeah, the, the flavor is the same, as if we had picked it fresh. And um, we had a few comments about these uh, dried tomato plants actually being a good spider deterrent. We didn't know that, and for those of you who didn't see that comment, we wanted to pass that along. That's really cool advice, and we actually, upon thinking about it, realized that we have fewer spiders in our house this week than we did the past couple weeks when they've started to become more common <laughs> in our house. <laughs> cool. I thought, awesome. I thought they were going to come. I thought they were going to hitch a ride into the house, but that's cool. <laughs> Passes the test. You want to paint something? Put it in that frame. That'd be cool. Okay. That's a good idea. I need to paint right So many of these are the ones that I just um, pulled off of the ones that were hanging because I didn't want them to catapult down onto us. And so I, I just go over here and I tug. And first of all, I see if it's, you know, squishy, just like when you're picking it when you're outside. And if it's pretty squishy, then it usually is ready. But I like leaving them on until they're totally ready. But it's better safe than sorry with those big ones, because look how huge these are. <laughs> you knock someone out. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, tug on them, and if they feel like they're coming off, then I just pull them off. So. That way we don't get uh, splattered. <laughs> that would be funny though. <laughs> I was just looking at this amazing rainbow. It's so awesome. Yeah. Thinking that I should put everything else on hold today and just paint. So it's already on hold. This. These so, aren't going anywhere. So pretty. Especially those green ones. <laughs> oh, look at this little apple seed or apple tree that we have. We planted eight of them and only one came up, but it's doing really well. It's fun. <laughs> we, um, we cut open a Granny Smith Tiny, huh? and uh, it, the seeds were sprouting, yeah. so we planted them. It was pretty awesome to see a sprouting seed right inside your apple. Yeah, that is fun. <laughs> I've seen that happen in a few different things over the years, but not very often. I can't stop staring. I should point the camera at whoever's talking, but the tomatoes are too pretty. <laughs> I want our house to be like and this the all the time. Then you should paint it and it will preserve it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll do it. Paint that you want to paint with Daddy? On that? To put it in there? Okay. This is so cool. Just watching him change color throughout the days. So fascinating. Thank you, Emmy. I like your backpack. Mm
That is so cute. Oh, that's awesome. That's beautiful. We are so excited that we had such success with this um, method of ripening our green tomatoes and please leave us comments of anything that you guys have done to, to get the same result and we are so grateful for you guys watching and liking and subscribing and we hope to see you next time. Bye!